Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint a Chaos Space Marine LAS Cannon. Now it's using one of the LAS Cannons from the Havoc's pack. I'm going to be working through the different weapons that they have in there over time. The first one today is the LAS Cannon. So the first colour we use today is going to be Citadel Lead Belcher. I'm going to start doing all the metallic parts on the LAS Cannon first. I was always using this as it's quite a nice deep silver colour, very dark. So it gives it a little bit more grim look to it. It's ideal for the Chaos Space Marines. I'm going to be painting this up in Black Legion colours because I've been doing Black Legion for a while now. But the principles will be the same for the, the basic weapon for all the chapters. Next up, it's going to be Citadel Liberator Gold. I'm going to use this to do all the armour trim and all the decorations on the last cannon itself. The only part that we're not going to be using Liberator Gold for is the eight pointed Star of Chaos on the inside of the trim there. Next we're going on to Citadel Retributor Armour. This is just going to be to do a few of the decorations. I did get a little bit too much of this out of the pot when I started doing this colour. So you will notice a few things as I'm going along on the model. Getting this colour added to it, some of the silvers as well. Like so. Next up it's just going to be Citadel Abeland Sunset. We're going to be using this on one of the tubes because we're going to do it the yellow and black stripes, which Space Marines seem so fond of. Now we're moving on to the shades and we're going to start off with the first, which is Citadel Agraxa Shade. We're going to be using this on the Retributor Armour and all the Liberator Gold areas. Now we're going to move on to Citadel Null Oil. We're going to use this on all of the golds that we've just covered and also all of the lead belcher. And we use this over the gold trim as well just because we want it to get nice and dark and give it that old grimy look. Now we're going on to Citadel Fugan Orange, and this is just to do the yellow cable at the back of his last cannon. Like so. Now realising that I've missed off a base colour, we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Araman Blue. I'm just going to paint these two areas here. Now, Lost Cannons I always imagine to have the red laser coming out the end. And Plasma Guns, I always think of having the blue plasma. So instead of that, because I've been using red for the plasma on the Black Legion shafts, we're now going to use a little bit of blue to do the Lost Cannon, so it's got nice blue lasers coming out the end. This is a quick and easy method of making it look like it's glowing a bit. 
So back to the shades, and we're going to use Citadel Drakenhof Nightshade just to shade those two sections that we just painted. Now we're going to start with Citadel Retributor Armor. We're just going to retouch up the base coat on this, leaving some of the Agraxer shade in the recesses. We're starting with this one so that we can then highlight it with Liberator Gold when we do the next layer. Now we're just going to go on to Citadel Liberator Gold. We're going to start reapplying the colour back to the armour trim. We're also going to use this to highlight the Retributor armour that we used in the previous layer. Now this is using the same technique that you do to the Black Legion armor trim, so I'll link that video up at the end. And we'll come back when we've got all this layer finished. Next up, we're going to be using some Vallejo Model Air Chrome mixed in with the Liberator Gold. We're just going to use this to highlight all the uppermost edges of the trim. And you can see that it leaves a nice highlighted kind of edge to it, so you've got like that gleaming silver edge. Which really does make the armor trim stand out. Makes it look like it's catching the light a lot better. Now we're going to work on the Araman Blue sections, using Citadel Araman Blue again. We're just going to reapply the colour to these. Now this is going to be a succession of really short clips, as I'm just applying highlights to it. But you want to get all these ridges back to being pure Araman Blue, with just the shading between them. Next we're going to be using a little bit of Vallejo White mixed in with the Araman Blue. We're going to do a highlight to these sections, like so. Now we're going to add a little bit more white to the previous mix. And we're just going to highlight just inside of where we've just highlighted. So you want to have a section which is the normal Araman blue, then the next highlight, then you're applying this highlight. So each highlight that you're applying on this area is going to get smaller and smaller as the layers go on. Adding a little bit more white to the previous mix once more. And we're going to do another highlight to them. Once more we're adding more white to the previous mix. We're going to do another highlight on these little bits at the back. Trying to keep them even. Now we're going to mix a little bit more white with the previous mix once more. A quick bit of highlighting on there. And finally we're just going to use a little bit of Vallejo white. Not mixed with anything, just the pure white. We're just going to highlight the very middle parts of these and give it a bit more brightness. Like so. Now we're going to reapply the black to all the armor plating and the casings. And 
Now you want to be quite careful when you're doing this because obviously you don't want to go over the gold trim. But I do find it easier doing this after you've finished all the gold trim so you've got less chance of splashing the lighter colour onto the darker colour. If you do happen to get a little bit of black on there, just use your thumb to wipe it off quickly before the black dries. Next we're going to be using Vallejo German Grey. We're going to use this to highlight all of the black. I like to think of this as some sort of recoil part on the barrel of it. Not too sure whether it is or not, but I paint it so it's a big flexible piece of rubber tubing going over the top. I'm just going to highlight the top edges and the areas that will be catching the light. Next up we've added a little bit of Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey to the German Grey and we're now just going to highlight all these grey areas. You don't need to go overboard on this. Just a light highlight of this lighter shade of grey. That should be fine. Now we're going to work on the rubber tubing, so we're going to return to Citadel Able and Sunset. Just base coat this again, leaving some of the Fugan orange on display around the edges or if there's any little lips or ridges in the tube. Next up we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Uriel Yellow. I failed to show that at the start of this, but it's a brighter shade layer colour from Citadel. It goes well on these tubes when you're doing them with the black and yellow stripes. Like so. Final colour we're going to use is Vallejo Black. And this is just to apply stripes to this section of the tubing. When you're doing the stripes, if you're not happy with how the edges look, or you don't think they're straight lines or smooth edges, you can just use a little bit of Avalon Sunset to touch that up, and use a little bit of Uriel Yellow to give it that highlight again. With the stripes finished, that is the last cannon completed. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much.